No fun allowed. Dr. Robert Kassar, eartheracademy.com. This is another rethinking reality. And, well, what's the date today? Today's the 25th, I believe. 25th of April. And, well, we're just sitting in front of a big sign here that says closed. Okay, and what does that mean? It's because we went out to this park called La Pohohoi Park, which is a beautiful park. And we wanted to go down there and check it out since it's such a beautiful day. Here, let me just show you. And, you know, what does that say up there? Closed. Okay, and this is a beautiful park. It's called La Pohohoi Park. And you go down, it takes about four miles to get to the bottom of the hill down this windy mountain down through here. And you go to the most beautiful place down there where it used to be a lot of sacred Hawaiian spaces down there. And it's a nice little, you know, place where you could eat and, and just, just a private local park. But it says closed. Okay. Residents only. And I just saw a policeman just come back just a second ago. But, you know, you notice right now, okay, you know, what's going on? Why can't we have any fun? Okay, great. Look, six feet apart. Well, I'm about three feet apart from Mark, so I guess that's not cool, right? Okay, so, you know, you got all these social distancings. You got the, remember, the lockdown. You're on quarantine or you're on house arrest is because it's true. Those three terms, okay, is why? Is because I can't even go to the beach I can't go to the park. All the parks are closed. Even though there's nobody at the park, I still can't go there. For why? Why not? Okay. Why can't I go to the beach to be able to lay out in the sun? Okay. And catch some vitamin D. I just did a good video on that the other day. Just uh, getting your vitamin D, guys, because you're locked inside your house all day and you're staring at the blue light television. Remember, you're messing up your immune system just staying in the house and you're rubbing all this disinfectant with bacteria, antibacterial soaps and all this stuff and washing your hands with alcohol. All those people that yeah. just went by, they were there. They just got kicked out. They just got kicked out. Yeah. They went down too. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, guys, you think you're lowering your immune system. You need to get out, look, in nature. And again, this is beautiful Hawaii here. I just did a video on also the mysterious tree sickness, okay? See those two big ironwood trees right there? Those things, they take a long time to grow and you can't even cut them with a chainsaw, they're so hard, okay? Why are those trees dead, okay? They didn't look like they just died because I can still see leaves on them. So, I mean, it just looks like they died within the last six months, okay? But <clears throat> anyways, look, why can't we have any fun right now? We take our distance, our six foot distance. And if you're gonna wear a mask, guys, remember you're only wearing a mask because you're going in a store because of responsibility, supposedly, if you're sick. That's if you're sick. Remember, you're the surgeon and, and you're not worried about getting sick from the patient. You're worried about breathing on your germs onto the open wound so you don't infect it. That's what that mask is for. Unless you're breathing particles and stuff, and you have to think too, what do you think you're breathing? You're breathing a synthetic fiber. It's not even cotton. You know, a cotton mask might be a little better with some thin, thin mesh, you know, to be able to catch particles, but it's not gonna catch anything that's super small, but it's gonna stop maybe your coughing and your spitting, <coughs> just like covering your mouth. Well, that's like wearing a mask, right? So anyways, all I'm seeing right now is a lot of stupidity. You can call it buffoonery. You can just call it doesn't make sense to my brain at all. It's because, you know, again, think of the terms I just told you. Lockdown, that's a prison term, okay? Quarantine, that means you're sick and you gotta stay in the house, okay? Or you're on house arrest and your house now is your prison. I can't go outside and enjoy the sun, really, okay? And I gotta wear a mask even in my car. And guys, if you're wearing a mask in your car, and I've said this before, why would you wear a mask in your car? Are you worried about what, infecting yourself? You're lowering your blood oxygen, remember? And you're increasing your CO2, which makes you fall asleep at the car. And this has happened already. There was an article the other day, someone fell asleep and of course, wearing their mask. What do you think? So anyways, Mark, what do you think? We're talking about 
going down. We want to go see this new fishing spot that is really cool out here. And this is, like I said, a sacred spot to come to. And it's the most beautiful day. They were spraying aerosols a lot this morning. Okay, but today looks pretty clean right now. What do you think? Can't have any fun right now. Well, we decided to name it after Glenn Fry's, Glenn Fry's album, No Fun Allowed. Some of you might remember it. Uh, Glenn Fry and, and No Fun Allowed. But it doesn't make any ability sense at all. Zero sense. I mean, to be cooped up in your houses or, or you're allowed in public places with social distancing, but don't go into nature. And then I heard somebody tell me is that, no, no, they don't want you to go to nature because everybody will be flocking to nature and it will deplete nature and, and, and it will be bad because it'll be just overcrowded. And that's, that doesn't make any sense either. Okay, that's not the case. There's something there's something more to this that you can't even go and get sunshine you can't even go and get fresh air which is probably the best thing for people to do right now it's always has been the best thing to do but we can't even do that doesn't make any sense or just just something stinks and it just just to me it doesn't make any sense that people cannot go outside and enjoy sunshine and fresh air go to the beach go to the park I, over overcrowding it, i don't buy it I don't buy it at all because people do have other things to do. They got to go to town to get their necessities. They got to they got to get various things. But, you know, for them to enforce something like this, okay, all over the place, you can't go hiking, you can't go fishing, you can't go uh to the beach, you can't go in the sun, the fresh air. It's it's a travesty. It's hard to be dramatic with the, that kind of a word, but uh it is. It's just ridiculous. We were going down here to check it out because, uh, you know, we wanted to get out ourselves. It's a beautiful day, and they want you to stay in front of a stupid idiot box all day and listen to the to the narrative of a really stupid story. So think of the theme of what's going down now. Think of it. You're not allowed outside in the sun, and you know vitamin D is super necessary for your immune system to stay super strong. And vitamin D, remember, is like got a half-life of just a day, you know. 15 hours, 20 hours, it's in and out of your system, right? Unless you eat some eggs, some liver, some fatty tuna, okay, things like that. Okay, you got vitamin D in that. But if you don't get out in the sun, then you've just compromised your immune system. If you don't breathe fresh air and you're breathing with this mask on all the time, you're compromising your immune system. If you're ordering out food all the time like I see people all in these junk food restaurants full I mean 20 30 cars back in the evening Kentucky Fried Crap Murder King go McKill yourself Taco Hell Taco Hell we were just see we were just there the other day it was a long line it was at five o'clock and there's a there's a line probably about 20 cars exactly it was ridiculous <laughs> I can't believe it look guys you are either volunteering right now to get sick, okay, because you're thinking that for some reason your immune system has died. Remember, every year there's a pandemic. Every year. And what's that called? The influenza flu. Okay, attacking millions of people. 37,000 to 60,000 people die every year of the flu, okay, in the United States. Influenza, you get pneumonia, right? You got elderly people, they get sick, get the flu shot. Could it be possible if you get tested for this COVID-19, right? And you know what COVID stands for. Certificate of Vaccination, ID, and 19 is, again, gematria, okay, numerology, 19, number one is A, and number nine, you figure it out with your own fingers. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. That's nine, okay? Well, that's, excuse me, H, A, I. So, look, <clears throat> now what was I going to say? I got off track. I was just going to go ahead and explain something. Uh, basically about, about the, the flu vaccine, because I have something to interject about that, too. You were talking about... Oh, this is what I'm going to say. Look, okay, lots of things I want to say. I just got to watch what I say is because everybody's watching what I say. And I'm just trying to go ahead and just have some critical thinking here. But could it be possible that 
you taking the flu shots before, right? These influenza shots, and you'd have no idea what's in that shot that you took for the flu vaccine. Got a mosquito in here. I know. Okay. Look, you have no idea what's in that vaccine. When I buy a bottle of ketchup, I know sugar's the first ingredient, and polysorbate 90 is the se- is the last ingredient. Okay. If I'm buying crappy ketchup, okay. Now. I do not know, you do not know, the doctors do not know, the pharmacists do not know what's in these vaccines. They're like a special recipe, right? What? Patented recipe. Supposedly, Bill Gates is a new patent, right? You can look that up. ODD did a good one on that. Uh, uh, It's on the patent 060606, right? (laughs) I got to shut my window. Let me put your key on here. Got mosquitoes coming in here. We get hot as hell in here. I'll just keep it open just a tad. Now find your way in here, mosquitoes. Yeah. So, you know, you've got to really look and see what do you think is in that vaccine? Do you know? Can you even find out? You know when you look into the inserts, right, of the vaccine, they show you all of the, you know, they tell you about the vaccine, remember section one, section through, section three. And if you go to section 13, that's going to tell you about, well, maybe the testing that it hasn't had. It has not been tested for mutagenic okay, capabilities, hasn't been tested for carcinogenic capabilities, or it hasn't been tested for impairment of fertility. So why would you want to take something that hasn't been tested, thoroughly tested, and not just on rats, okay, maybe, maybe on some people, okay? Let's see what goes down with, with these types of, remember, petrochemical synthetic combinations and compounds, aborted fetuses, different types of of glands from animals pigs and chickens you're just scratching the surface yeah. of the potential things that can be in it there's one thing i know that's in it adjuvants from my mercury aluminum polysorbite 80 all these all these preservatives what was that now well there's one thing that i'm suspicious of about anybody considering getting when they come up with a vaccine back i was when i was dumb as a stump the only time I ever took a vaccine was a flu shot that they came to our to our company to give free flu shots back in the 90s. I got the worst that oops, the worst damn flu of my life. I did the same thing. I and took I one flu shot me. because I was pushed into doing that yeah. thinking it was good. I was a wor- I've been I've had lots of different types of flus over you know since I was I, a kid. I but got this sick one, for like a week. Bones were me, aching, sweating. I I didn't get over it for a month. And for the first couple of weeks, I mean, it, 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 I'm not going to sound dramatic, but it almost killed me. So I'm highly suspicious of I never any took, yeah, type of I, I was vaccine. Like, I was like 30 any. years old then. Yeah, I was, I was 30. It was I the was big 30, scare. 30, 30, Remember, that's when they did the AIDS scare. Okay. And look what they did with all the children with the vaccines, including my children. Okay. Don't get the HPV vaccine. Your child had it too. Okay. Why would you go ahead and get that vaccine? Is because your gynecologist scared you and said that you'll be protected from cervical cancer, right? If you'll take this magic needle. No, we, they, the people take things because some authority yeah. told them to. That's our problem. We've had this on, on, on our conversations before about critical thinking, is, is the belief in authorities. And my, our parents' gener, generation, geez, doctors are like gods. Go to the doctor, go to the doctor, go to the doctor. I have to go to the doctor. The doctor's going to tell me what to do. He can't even take care of himself, and he's going to tell you how to do it. You've talked about that a billion times. Look, let's just go ahead and ask another question. Remember, this is rethinking reality. Let's rethink our reality. Who's really in control here that's giving us all of these lockdowns? Remember, the house arrest or the quarantine, right? I know... I mean, we all have critical thinking, right? Let's think about it. Who talks to us? Every time I watch a video, no matter whose video I'm watching, the next video, I'm on autoplay, the next video that pops on is what? It's a politician, okay? That's trying to tell me what's going down. Fox News, ABC News, whatever it is, it comes up, MSM, as some people call it, MSM, LSD, right? (laughs) CNN, some people call it what? The Communist Network news network or the cabal's news network or the cartel's news network i mean i've heard it all just listening to videos right 
So, you know, who's really in control? Think of it. Use your critical thinking. It's the politicians that are playing with politics, right? Politics, politics. Remember, poly means what? Means many, right? Then what's a tick? It's a blood sucking insect that gives you a disease like Lyme disease, right? Okay, let's just use our critical thinking. Politics, who do you think named everything? I did a good video on the end game. Uh, it's just going to be put out in the morning, okay? And I go over some gematria there so you can get an idea of some of these ideas. But who's in control? It's the politicians and who else? We just talked about this, Mark. Who else was it? Science to, scientists. The and scientists. Under, them, under that is doctors. That's right. The scientists that are pushing, not science, they're pushing scientism, which is a religion. Okay, and, and if you're a doctor and you have medical background, okay, and it just means that you've been taught a lot of story, right? The kidney, we don't know how the kidney works. We don't know how the heart works. We don't know how anything works in the body. It's unknowable. So it's all theory, the kidney theory, the heart theory, my eyeball. Remember, we can cut it open and look at it and name it things, but we don't know how it works. It focuses as I just push it around. And I can point them around anywhere I want to, as long as I dream it with my brain, right? Remember, everything is very complex. And you can see right now that the most complex, strongest, powerful people are the scientists, not the church. Remember, they're supposed to be running their soup kitchens with all the homeless. They're supposed to be taking care of all the people, like orphan nannies and all that stuff. Remember, in the old school days, okay? Who's in power? the politicians with their tricks and the scientists. So the scientists come up with whatever they want to come up with because there's also someone behind them that has power, right? But we're just talking about the people that we see right now on our television, our television. Remember Dr. Fossey, right? Telling you that, hey, you got to have all this, you know, distancing and you got to wear a mask and, and well, maybe we're going to close down, you know, the world recommendation, recommendation, recommendations of the scientists, which are supposed to be the smartest men on this planet, right? Or are they the most maybe corruptedly controlled is because nobody of any level has power unless there's someone above them that supervises them. They have to supervise them. You think you're going to give someone all this power? No, someone supervises those people with the power they get. So anyways, the politicians get their power from the scientists when there's a medical problem. If not the politicians, let's say there's a war. Where do they get it? They get it from the military, their information, and then they spew out whatever they want to. Remember, all of the, well, the communication, the radio, everything that we watch and hear is all controlled supposedly by so-called five companies, right? Pentagonic, the five, the five companies, which basically keeps a lot of the information tight, right? So anyways, now, I'll open my window just a tad. Yeah, it's getting warm in here. Look, the way it works is real simple. So the politicians right now have, I just want to put it down halfway yet. Yeah. The politicians right now have the power because of the scientists. And the scientists, of course, are, are most likely and most probably, not possibly, but probably, which is more than a 51%, yes, that they are being pushed with an agenda to be able to pass down the rules to those that actually speak out to the world, okay? Which of course is who? That's the mainstream media now. So you've got the scientists, you've got the politicians, and the politicians have their platform on the mainstream media. What a three ring circus, huh? Yeah? Let the freak show, okay, begin, right? Or let the games begin because it is sort of a freak right, show. Well, let's take it. Let's take it one step further. And what are the politi Who do the politicians use, and even scientists use, to to float their propaganda, to sell it? Who? They use celebrities. Yep. Is everybody aware of the 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 uh, the program they just had? It was like what was it? One one world at home using all these celebrities to, to sell this agenda of people getting used to staying home and not doing anything. Yeah, 
okay? The, cele the celebrities sell, sell it because why? Because people like continuity and they like something that they're familiar with and something they trust and something they look up to. So if you don't look up to a politician and you don't look up to scientists and say you have some critical thinking, well, they'll get somebody to sell it to you that, that's, that's famous. A celebrity that, 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 and most people, they buy into that It's the bread thing. and circus, man. Yeah. It's just like back in Rome. Look, the way you got to look at this is you got to really see a lot of the old movies, and you'll see that the mob is what controls Rome. We have to figure out how to entertain them with the Colosseum, with the gladiating, with all the, with all the football games nowadays, with the basketball games. We've taken away all the entertainment of the minions, the mundanes, right? Okay, those are the ones that have to be entertained because if not, then they get in trouble like little kids right you got to keep them busy football games if you don't like football games or sports what do you go to you do politician right you go to politics right and you start looking at that and if you don't like that maybe you get into something that's going to keep you busy like gardening okay maybe something else like maybe athletics or exercise remember in order to control the mob you got to keep them interested and busy if not they got too much time on their hands right Okay, that's the way it works. So anyways, what I'm saying is that we have to really have critical thinking. And critical thinking is you have to say that, that okay, we are sort of like, you know, you got to look at this from a perspective, like Mark likes to say, from the 33,000 mile view, I call it the 33. It's like looking at or 33,000 foot view is a little better because you can that's fly in a, fly in a thousand foot. Yeah, you can fly in a plane. But you got to really look at this from a distance and see, remember, this is a worldwide bait and switch, you can call it, right? Okay, so what better way to be able to blame everything that you're hearing right now on the invisible boogeyman? And what a powerful thing it is, is because fear, doubt, and uncertainty in the people make people obey. That's what happens. It makes them obey. What would you say, Robert? Uh, critical thinking 101 is what would you define it as critical thinking 101 critical thinking means you ask questions Bingo. okay based upon a type of story that you heard and you're using your mind and you've all your life asked questions critical thinking which means that your mind is geared to asking questions instead of being told the way it is remember when you go to school and a lot of people call it the government indoctrination camps. Remember, from kindergarten to 12th grade is 13 grades. That's the magic number again. Okay, you got 13 grades of indoctrination. And so, you know, just like I was telling Mark, you know, we're driving, and he knows what I'm going to say. <laughs> we're driving, and of course, we're in Hawaii, and we're on the side of the ball. So I always say, you know, we're driving sideways, right? So... I said, if we came here from another place, another planet, let's say, from another part of how big this place is, nobody knows, but from another part of the game here, and we came here, and we didn't know anything about the indoctrination that we've been told about, that you came from a monkey, right? That you live on a round spinning ball, traveling 66,600 miles an hour around the sun, 666, that you're, you know, held together by gravity theory all theory okay that's right you're and if it doesn't work in the gravity theory with a bunch of mathematics remember you got to really be smart to be able to see sort of part of this game but if you don't have critical thinking it means you're not that smart so you've got if it doesn't fit into the theory of gravity then you've got the theory of relativity. Whoa. <laughs> let's, let's switch gears a little bit here and go to the next thing. Okay, well, so you asked gonna... about critical thinking. No, so... and I know, and that's what I want to say next. Okay, so critical, because so this is what we want to sum up and maybe in, in this video is, what's the 101 of critical thinking is to question everything. I think you've heard that from a lot of wise people through the, through the years or ages. Now, what's some of the tools of critical thinking? And they've been telling you on, on look, a lot of these big channels discovery channel okay a lot of them history channel what do they say at the end question everything they're telling you but you have this is what i'm saying after 12 grades of indoctrination camp you have lost your critical thinking is because you were told everything and they told you it was all theory the theory of everything but you were tested on this theory 
And in your mind, since you're tested and you maybe even graduated with honors, remember 4.0? That just means that you have a good, smart, mimicking mind. Critical thinking are the people that got C's and D's. It's because they couldn't take, remember, you graduate high school, you got to be high to graduate all the BS that they teach us, right? So right now, most people in the United States especially do not have critical thinking is because we've had it bred out of us. We believe in everything. Okay, I was telling Mark as we were driving down here, I said, Mark, check it out. Look at the ocean, man. We can see it like 100 miles. I said, right now, the ocean's sideways, right? And, and we're driving, this car's driving straight down on the side of the ball. And I'm thinking, wow, what mystery this is, right? So anyways, guys, all I'm saying is that, just to sum this up and I'll let Mark take this, critical thinking is you asking questions throughout your life. About it, everything. About everything. No what you've told, okay. even if it sounds good, even if, if you feel like because of through consensus thinking that everybody else thinks it, everybody else thinks it's true, it doesn't necessarily make it true, even though we're comfortable with that as being the truth. But first question everything, the neck, the t some of the tools of critical thinking. The next thing is research, okay. And some people don't know how, but but you can learn how. And, and and then discernment. Yeah, exactly. So, but you know, real quick before I forget my thing. Sorry, I cut you off. Look, <laughs> look. I'm not talking about critical thinking on what your authorities tell you. I'm talking about critical thinking when someone's trying to teach you how to to plant a garden. I'm talking critical thinking about everything, even wiping your arse in the right direction or not. What's the right direction, by the way? Okay, it's called <laughs> don't rub the toilet paper against your prostate, so I'd probably go ahead and maybe wipe from the back to the front and not touch your prostate with that dirty toilet paper full of BPH, full of, remember, it's, it's ass paper. And that's the worst paper in the world because it's recycled with labels. It's got tons of chemicals. It's got fragrance. Smell it. All right. Now that you've been taught how to wipe your ass, let's move on. <laughs> okay. So, but it's, I'm just saying, look, it's critical thinking. If not, and hopefully your mama taught you a lot of good things because she had critical thinking. If not, then all she's doing is passing down, again, buffoonery to the next generation as our parents did pass down some, not a lot, but a lot of buffoonery. To us and of course we passed it down to our children and still we started to ask questions and on this note and we've talked about this in previous uh, videos that Robert's done is part of critical thinking 101 is the awareness of all you know and only right. thing that you know is what you've been told and taught to know and you've accepted it since this thing called indoctrination in the education system so it is kind of. Uh, I'll take a. I'll take a scene from uh, one of uh, everybody movie. The movie that everybody knows is, is uh, the Matrix when the Oracle said to, uh, to uh, what's his name? What's really going to bake your noodle? Neo. Okay, to said to Neo is what's really going to bake your noodle is is. Would you have broke that vase? If, if I didn't tell you that you were going to do it anyways or something like that but what I mean what you're gonna bake your noodle is is who is telling you this and you've bought into it but the inquiry into questioning what you've been taught since the get-go since you've been indoctrinated in the education system that is telling you what to know and how to remember it and how to regurgitate it and reward you based on your memory of, of, of it when you really start to look at it, it really starts to melt your head a little bit or, or bake your noodle, so to speak, a little bit about, geez, I really don't know anything other than what I've been told to know. And there is so much more to know. There is. And what you've experienced and what you've heard. Remember, hearsay is a big part of our reality. We believe a lot of things. And remember, the human language, without getting deep into this, like I said, watch the video I did called the end game okay but the big picture here okay is can you start to just like in the matrix can you decode the matrix because if you think that we came from monkeys and the big bang theory is true then there's no reason for you to even think about critical thinking Okay, do you really think the birds, the bees, the whales, the snails, and all the plants I'm looking at, and the butterfly that just went by, and the bird over there singing came, yeah, you can start going back, came from nothing. Oh, that feels good. Sure. Yeah. Okay, came from nothing. Remember, an electrical lightning bolt and some algae, right? In some big expansion of the void. 
and everything is just flying in all directions and personally that means that well that you don't believe in a creator because remember that would be science okay actually it wouldn't even be science remember I told you who controls this place are the scientism celebrities right they're celebrities is because they're put on the mainstream platform and since they're put on that platform with the power of politics behind them with the power of military behind them what they say has a lot to do with what we believe is real because why because this whole system as you as you already know okay is a beautifully designed farm remember we're fed we're watered I'm gonna put my my seatbelt on. If not, this thing starts beeping. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Lost the now. <laughs> All right, a little action. <laughs> I'm down a little bit further, and I'll turn around. Okay. All right. What time do we got here? 31 minutes. So look, it's time to to have everyone, so we can really start to think a little deeper than just buying into everything we're told and it's not that everything that we're told is not true unless you look into it okay and if there is a human farm which of course you know there is I'm looking at these big electrical wires running up and down the highway here that's the invisible prison before the prison that is actually well called your house right so the the who has the ultimate power because we said who has the power remember the scientists do okay the mainstream platform does the military does too right but who really has the power I'll show you I'll take this off my phone I'll show you who has the power see those lines right there those power lines is because if currency energy doesn't run through there then we the human race we die very quickly die very quickly just because those that own the switch the power switch remember if we ever get out of control any of us in groups in mass they don't have to do anything all they have to do is shut down the power and you'll see in two weeks talk about fasting guys remember your toilets won't flush your refrigerator is about you got three days worth of food unless you've already packed some food and you'll have a little bit Okay, but in the first 60 days, they say in the first 30 days, you have over 80% death rate. Or no, actually, in 60 days, I haven't looked at this information in a while, in 60 days, you have about 80% death rate in any city if you shut down the power. Remember, no food, no electricity, no digital currency, nothing. You can't run anything. Right now, you can't even run your stores right now, and you still have electricity and stuff. What if they took the power away? Remember, you can't access anything because everything's on the cloud, right? Up in the clouds up there, right? So those who have the power, the real power, and no one's ever flexed their power yet to show us their real power, is those that run that electricity through those wires. Those that run that cable on the side over there, that's your telecommunications. And that's, okay, another part of, of who runs the system, but that is the ultimate controller right there. We don't have to know if it's a certain secret society or whoever, but those who control that electrical switch have the life and death of the human race. It's because without power, remember, we have no power. You don't know how to start a fire, people. Some of you do. Okay, like I said in other videos. Should've yeah, I should have went down there. Yeah, As I said in other videos, okay? YPO. Isn't YPO up here? YPO is this way, yeah. yeah Look, as I said in other videos, you know, now I forgot what I was going to say. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, look, there we go. We're, we're driving sideways right now, right? Look, and we're going downhill right now, and the ocean's being held on the side of the ball by that, again, magical mystery force. If we came down here, like I said, from another place, and someone told us that story, I would have to say, what kind of good stuff are you smoking or drinking, man? Do you really think that, how could that be? I'm going downhill. He's traveling straight down right now. Remember, you're on the side of the ball, right? Okay, but we know, as far as we know, if you understand any type of, you know, any type of 
work that you've done with a water line, remember, water finds its own level. You take a plane over the plane it, right? That's the way it works on a plane it, a planet. <laughs> remember, it's all in our face. We just have to have critical thinking to be able to sort through th some of the information. But anyways, getting back to this sickness that's going around now, we as a species are very sick. We're mentally sick. We're emotionally sick. And you wonder why cigarettes, alcohol, tobacco are an essential service when you can't go ahead and buy seeds from Walmart because they don't want you having fun, remember? They don't want you having fun. But they want you to make sure you say emotionally sound because it's essential for your mental health to keep on smoking ah, and to keep on drinking. Yeah, but that's not emotionally sound. That's emotionally sedated. It's they sedated. want you to be sedated. But they, you're but you're addicted and I you think, can't stop. I think you covered this before, but so why in this in this shutdown of the system that they're only allowing essential things, but why is alcohol and tobacco essential? Why? Why? To, to keep people sedated and all the pharmaceuticals. And that's crazy. well, and not only sedated, guys, you're addicted. You're smoking two packs a day. Let me take them from you. Okay? Let me take them from you. Let me take away your bottle of vodka you're drinking every three days. Let's see you look for a bottle somewhere or for a stick in a trash can somewhere, a cigarette. Let's see. Let's see if you can go ahead and handle that. Like when people come up here to the 21 day fasting program, there are some people that'll cheat cigarettes and tobacco and stuff, but most people come up here because they want to cut off all their addictions. And that means tobacco, alcohol, sugar, maybe masturbation, maybe just get away from Wi Fi and all the crazy people in the city. Okay, so everybody should be fasting right now. Use your critical thinking. Take your clothes off, like I said, and look in the mirror, guys, and check yourself out. And if you're overweight, then start to do some fasting. You're sitting at home right now, you're not walking around, you're not doing anything, and you're getting fat, fatter for most people. Remember, you got 100 million people in the United States that are obese. And you got another 100 million people that are diabetic. You got supposedly 50 million people taking Prozac, Zoloft, and Paxil. I think you have sort of a sick situation here where you better keep these people fed, watered, and you better keep these people with their petrochemical pharmaceuticals and all the pharmaceuticals they get off the street too, or drugs or synthetic chemicals or whatever you're doing. Because if not, you will have civil unrest forget about just because you can't go out of your house is because you don't give these people their drugs that they're all addicted to put that one through your smoke that one right up your pipe <laughs> take away the tobacco and the alcohol and you'll see civil unrest beyond being stuck in your house to be able to watch my three sons and <clears throat> and bewitched and all of uh, Gomer Pyle and and anything that you like to watch as the world turns and all your favorite <laughs> all your favorite soap operas and and drama on the politics remember they got you glued to the television the television inside your house and you can't go outside and when you do you put on your sunglasses is because now you're a, a Baphomet child you're watching the Baphomet energy right that's the the blue light the pulse technology that's Baphomet smartphone technology and then you go outside and you want to make sure you stay away from God technology which is what the Sun so you put on your sunglasses right and you shield yourself from the UVA and UVB rays and then you shield yourself too is because the doctors the good doctors tell you if you get out in the Sun then you're gonna get melanoma and wow instead of maybe the good doctors telling you to maybe clean your skin with the skin cleaning protocols we have and use coconut oil and cacao butter as your sunscreen instead of putting on toxic chemicalized sunscreen I don't think that's too smart remember there's a war on your body to get vitamin D and you can see it put sunscreen on and put sunglasses on and now you're in house arrest now you're not getting any and you're in your house staring at the blue lights you have LEDs in your house take them out of your house I've done it to my house I don't use LEDs I don't use wireless I got rid of my wireless doorbell wireless security system Alexis well again guys what do you think Alexis is she's a pretty little girl right that speaks to you Alexis turn on my mm, my my lights my TV my stereo yeah my, my coffee maker whatever. okay do all the things that it can do through your smart technology through your smart house and then I want you to listen to 
what Alexa sounds like, okay, when, that, when she doesn't speak. You get yourself a, an acoustometer and you'll find out that Alexa is a devil. Well, let's, let's okay, with the wireless. Let's throw back to something <laughs> very important that you touched on a moment ago about being oh, stuck at home. Being stuck at home, unless you're really on point and really self aware, you know, being more sedative at home, yes, as Robert said, you're going to get, you're going to gain weight and you're going to gain toxicity. It's a perfect opportunity to do some cleansing, to do some detox and so on. Otherwise, it's going to be the opposite. You're more exposed to all this, all these frequencies, all this electromagnetic smog, I call it, uh, white uh, broadband, uh, RMF, uh, everything, uh, everything, everything from wireless and, to your wireless, everything you have in your house. And yeah. on top of that, a lot of people are start to go into a depression because they don't have the things that they used to do. So what are they going to go to? What are they going to revert to? They're going to go to eating, drinking, smoking, drinking taking more of, of whatever it is that they've more already been on. More pornographic. So if you're not <laughs> really awake and on point here, you know, your health is going to decline that much more. And heck, we could do the next hour on this alone. About if you're going to be home, you hey, you don't have to go to work. You're stuck at home or whatever the case may be. Why not start doing a fasting program? Why not start doing an, a, a detox program? Why not start being way more consciously aware of what you're exposing yourself to when you're being sedentary? Sedentary is dangerous enough as it is. So that's something to be aware of. Okay. Well, where is it? Did we already pass it? No, no. you okay. got to go to Honoka'a. So look, let me give you a little bit of a couple of pointers now. You know, if you're overweight, guys, then you should be watching our videos on intermittent and block fasting. But let me give you a couple of hints now. If you're going to start fasting, you should try to see if you can fast for one day. <laughs> one day. Remember, people come up to the retreats here and they go 14 days. And most of them make it all the way through. And some of them have to bow down a little bit and take uh, uh, Ferment. some ferments. And once in a while, we'll have to give them uh, maybe a little piece of fruit or something just to kick their body in from, from feeling like it's going to die. Okay, from not eating any food on the 13th or 14th day. Some people go through some tribulations and they throw up and, you know, they go through. That's why it's medically supervised because you're basically, you're drying your system out. But a one-day fast is nothing. If you've got body fat, guys, and let's say you've got 20 pounds of body fat, you don't need to eat anything for 30 days and your body will eat itself. If you're skinny, like super skinny and you're like 90 pounds, well then a week water fast for you is pretty massive. Well, it's well known. You can go 14 days, you can go a month without food, but you can, can't go three days without water. So there you go. And three you're minutes without die. air. You're not gonna die, people. Yeah, you got three minutes without air. Okay, you got 30 days without food. And supposedly they say three days with zero water. Those are the three deaths of the threes. So, yeah, anyways, let me talk now. Hopefully uh, the window won't uh, make noise in the mic. So this is what, look, you at night, stay away from your sugar. Stay away from sugar. Because sugar in the morning is going to get you hungry because now you're going to go ahead and fast. And if you want to, have yourself a weak cup of yerba mate tea. Okay, so you won't get all the skitsies and stuff. But if you drink more caffeine, you're going to give me more. Your mind's going to go faster and fasting is going to be harder, just so you know. Okay, now if you smoke, try to remember fast with that too. You don't have to cut it off, cut it down. Remember, if you're going to cut off smoking, that's like maybe a week journey. And I can go do a video on that, on how to actually stop smoking, okay? Using other things that you can easily get non-addicted to, okay? I'm not going to say anything of what I want to say on YouTube. It's because it's not cool to tell people how to lose their addictions. It's not, okay? But you can easily stop drinking, all you have to do is not only wean yourself down, but you have to give yourself something else. Usually people, when they stop smoking, what happens to them? They get fat. It's because they replace the food that they're getting from their nicotine 
okay and they're feeding this parasite that eats and processes nicotine that's why when you smoke for the first couple days you get high as a kite and after a week or two same with cannabis same with alcohol same with any of the addictive drugs you got to do more and more and more but 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 you can say you build a tolerance that's chemically but when you're taking organic food in your body you're feeding something and they're colonizing inside you and they want more but chemicals you'll build a tolerance to but addictions true organic addictions like tobacco and alcohol you're processing this drug okay this food and you're awakening a microbe in your system that processes alcohol that processes and you're training these pleomorphic bacteria because pleomorphic just means the bacteria can change hats they can eat whatever they want if you train them to eat that so anyways if you stop smoking you got to feed these microbes you know what they like they don't like steak they don't like chicken they don't like fat they like sugar and this is what happens to you you start getting insanely hungry for frosting chicken chocolate cake okay for ice cream for putting sugar in everything your frappuccinos all that all that star bucks sweet crap okay in you a replace one drug for another especially when you yeah and sugar. and you get fat biologically so anyways guys stop your addiction stop your sugar at night slow down your cigarettes slow down if you're drinking alcohol at least don't drink it till bloody evening or something why are you drinking in the morning remember these are sedations not only addictions and in time you'll find out most of you guys that are into pornographics okay into pornography you don't even you're not even into pornography if you're not smoking weed if you're not drinking if you're not doing drugs okay pharmaceuticals whatever it is if your brain is clean just like prostitutes prostitutes would be out of business if you didn't have drugs if you didn't have alcohol okay or smoke it's the way it is <laughs> most straight guys can't do that okay at least for the first time and they have to be messed up to be able to do the dirty act of doing something that they know they shouldn't do and that goes along with your masturbation guys it goes along with a lot of weird stuff it's demonically possessions remember people doing heroin and stuff this is some of the self-reflection that you can get into while you're at home on house arrest or you can call it yourself clean yourself clean your house inside and out you can't leave your house well clean that thing spick and spin pull the furniture out rearrange the furniture change your house when you're fasting so what you do is every time you pee I want you to drink 25 sips of water this is going to help you if you feel hungry remember think in your mind you're thirsty this will get you through the first day if you need to eat anything I don't want you to have any sugar at all if you have to have something have a have a half a piece of avocado or maybe one egg sunny side up with a little bit of salt but you're still breaking the the spell sugar addiction. okay you're still breaking the spell guys if you can't fast try to do it as long as you can but if you bow down remember you have the you know the what I call the parachute is not having any sugar and if you're gonna eat something it's a half of avocado or just one egg that's it it's all you do so you know and then fasting for that one day you'll find out once you do that you'll say hey I can do one day and most of you instead of just even stopping at one day what do you do try to go ahead and do it for a day and a half two days and if you can do three days then you know that most likely that you are into ketosis Okay, no one's wearing masks here, all the fire departments. Yeah. It's funny, I see all the fire guys, the walk. policemen, I see the fire department guys. They're not doing social distancing. There was 10 guys there, okay? None of them are wearing masks. It's because they know it's ridiculous. First of all, if your immune system is strong, remember, you're not catching nothing, guys. And if you're sitting in your house under Wi-Fi, that's another thing. If you're nervous, you're not going to be able to fast, okay? If you're doing cocaine, yeah, you're fasting. <laughs> you're not eating anything. That's why you look like you're dying. Look at this place. It's, a, it's like a ghost town. Okay, now we just came into Waipio Valley here. This is where you go to Waipio Valley, which is... One of the biggest attractions here on, on the big island. And this place is usually on, on weekends. This is, a, this is kind of like a tourist attraction, this little... Uh, well, this town's town. called Honoka right here. But we're going to Waipio. You, but you look at this place is a ghost town. This place is usually bustling at Sunday. Okay, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Look, place is like a ghost town. Hey, there's one guy. Okay, 
where's it and everything look closed temporary closed due to covid <laughs> certificate of vaccination 19 right id 19. everything's closed look the market it's got about five or six cars in there well i can see the post office is closed because it's sunday but everything else is closed miserably and not only that where are where is everybody you don't even see people going on walks or anything okay and this is this cool little town this is called Honokaa. this is about 30 miles from my house here and this is on the way to Waipio Valley which of course is called Valley of the Kings and look at this the country market close ridiculous so all right when you're at home guys fasting hey there's one person doing a little exercise yo baby yo yeah, good I girl applaud these people <laughs> and you're staying at home remember you're fasting if you can do one day even if you did a day's worth of smoothies keep the sugar down just breaking yourself from junk food for a day breaking yourself from masturbation for a day <laughs> breaking yourself from watching porno or doing cocaine I mean, or any kind of drug or any kind of addiction or what I call, my father used to say, a crutch. What are your, some of your crutches? What are some of your, your uh, that's another word, not, not addictions, but uh, another word for a crutch, your um, uh, vices. Your vice, okay? yeah. To get over some of your vices, and I know everybody that's listening has some, okay? Everybody does. And you know what we were talking about doing in an online fasting program, and maybe we should start to work on that. Yeah, I'd like to go ahead and maybe do an online fasting program, guys. And since also, look, you got all the time in the world, and Earther Academy is only 10 bucks right now to join. No $240 for six months, because I wanted you to have a six-month membership. I cut it down 50%, just because a lot of people say I can't afford it. And it does, I mean, I have hundreds of thousands of dollars I personally spent Mark noses, to be true, just to go ahead and start Earther Academy, buy film equipment, I mean, just my first grab at just doing videos. I had to spend fifteen thousand dollars and buy editing equipment and filming equipment. Jesus, just to start. And that was like ten years ago. So you know, it's ten dollars a month. Cancel at any time. I'll give you your money back. Okay, in thirty days, if you feel that you didn't get information that's going to help you change your life. Okay, ten bucks a month. Like I said, you get a hundred dollar gift certificate to buy towards a. Uh, steam distiller and a uh, reverse osmosis machine instead of buying water like a minion guys start making your own okay a whole house water system maybe an ozone machine got different things in the store and basically we sell everything for cost once you get the hundred dollar coupon okay i mean it's just uh, we we sell things there for a reason so i can give you the best deal in town we don't make any monies on any of these products what a couple bucks here and there i just want to make sure that i don't lose any money even the guys, and I'll stop talking about money because I don't like talking about money, but a lot of the people that I do business with, we sell in the store, they get pissy with me, even have their attorney call me and say, if you don't take off the price you're selling off, especially the distillers, okay, then we're not going to let you sell them anymore. I said, well, it's to our private club. It's only to private people. It's not open to the public. You join and you get the benefits. I share all my secrets there, okay? A lot of the things that I've learned over 40 years being a doctor okay and a lot of other things just to be able to share with you my perspectives and in time my perspective does change but look it's all a work in progress and there's a lot of information on there over 30 departments for you to learn share teach investigate further okay and ignite yourself into learning how to take care of your bloody self bingo let me interject this first question is why do this why do this now well you could say now is the best there's no better time than now to want to take care of yourself but to me you've always wanted to take care of yourself and learn how to do it yourself as opposed to uh, uh, waiting until something happens and asking somebody else to, to, to take care of you so it's self-health it's always been that way that's what Earther Academy was about is yep. to learn how to take care of yourself but now we got no excuse now is the better time than any other especially now that people have more time on their hands and now it's made more affordable because it does cost money to do this. And Look, yeah. 10 bucks a month. And if you don't feel like the first month you got anything out of it, then send us an email and give your money back. How about that? And keep the $100 coupon as a gift. Buy anything you want in the store. 
Look, it's real simple, guys. There are so many things that you can learn how to upgrade, enhance, and optimize your health and wellness. Remember, you need to learn how to reset, renew, and rebuild yourself. How do you do that? Well, you're going to dissolve part of the car garbage you've accumulated in your body. Dissolve, wash, going to wash it out, and you're going to re-nutrify yourself. These are the the themes or the tri trilogies we call at Earth 3 Academy. Some of them, some of the memes. Okay, and look, we have tens of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people have seen the videos. Okay, and of course, all you got to do is talk to someone that has been a part of Earth 3 Academy, and yes, you did learn a lot of stuff. May not been exactly what you wanted to learn, but you did learn a lot of stuff. It takes a lot of critical thinking. Don't believe me. Remember, I'm just giving you my perspective. <clears throat> and I do a lot of different therapies, protocols, and practices to, you know, be able to help you support removing heavy metals, plastics, parasites, all these different things that accumulate in our bodies. And all the things that we had no idea where these toxins are coming in. Okay, remember, you got to navigate on the chessboard. And right now, you're, like Mark said, you got all the time in the world. So don't get in trouble with it do something with it. You can go to school for $10 a month and it's how to be self-reliant. It's how to take, learn how to take care of yourself better than what you know today. I don't know everything. I never said I did. <laughs> okay. And it takes a lot of not only courage to be able to put yourself out here, but it takes a lot of discipline every day. I was going to say that every day, Mark knows, what do I do? research I'm constantly searching for the new materials that it takes because we're all being sort of schooled every day by all the the investigative journalists that are helping us so we can see some of the things that doesn't make sense investigative journalists <clears throat> one of the good uh, investigative journals is a guy named uh, uh, shoot I forget his name it's a high impact vlogs or high impact flicks and he's got a lot of good uh, videos that he puts out on a lot of different uh, things that we want to really take care of by looking into. It's because a lot of things don't make sense and there are some people here that do have genius investigative journalist okay, practices. Another one is uh, uh, Truthstream Media. They do a lot, ODD TV does good. There's some uh, good guys that are on every day. The Fullerton Informer. Okay. Sean Baker. If you want to learn about uh, some of the people's experiences on uh, Meet RX. Okay. People that are going carnivore and changing, changing their lives. Okay. And <clears throat> there's the Dollar Vigilante. He's been doing a lot of videos every day talking about the system. We're on our way now to YPO Valley. And I'll do a video on all the people that I've been watching that helped me wake up a little bit at a time. And some of the people I don't watch anymore. But you know what? They still did help me wake up a little bit at a time. Whoop, look, coconuts and tropical fruit closed. Okay, not open. Anyways, this place here on Sunday is usually a big. Uh, all these cars here, though. No, it's these are people parking right here. They park to go to Wapio. Maybe not. I don't think so. These are people that live in their houses right here. They got to live five people to a bloody oh, house. Yeah, 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 you're right. Look, it is these house. are just people coming over. Everyone's coming over. Look, you're not supposed to come over your neighbor. When all these people, that's not all their cars. These are their friends coming into their houses. Okay. There's YPO Valley, two miles. So this place was where King Kamehameha had his fortress. Oh, this way, this way. There you go. I'm <laughs> going the other way, though. No, you're daydreaming. This way. Back, back road. And you can see it raining. You can raining. On oh, was it? Are you sure? Yeah, you knucklehead. I told. <laughs> oh, was it? I should have listened to me. Oh, I, I, was, yeah, I thought it was. That, I said that way, and then I want to peel was that way. Oh well, that's that it's way. All right. then. That's all right. right. I ha I haven't been this way either. Let's go down here and see what's in here. So, <clears throat> you know, hey, look at this guy's got his little children out here. Hey, hey, how you doing? It <laughs> waving. They don't have their masks on. Why? It's because need it. because they're smart. But if you go to the city, everybody in the city, man, is indoctrinated to believe whatever they hear on the, the television. Look at it raining out there, beautiful. And it's not that everything on the television is fake, but most of it is not really telling you the straight scoop. That's for sure. 
Look at this beautiful nice. place in here. Yeah, also. I'm not going to go too much further because I want to get to Wapio. Well, I think it, this will probably let out on, on the main road. Just keep going straight. Nature's Garden Gallery. Neptune's Garden Gallery. Yeah, Park. all closed. It would have been nice to go in there just to go check it go out. Check it out, yeah. This probably goes to Wipeo, it's just the back way. Yeah, it should, it should connect. This back. is the way I always used to go, I think. That's why I, I was going this it. way. Yeah. Come on, get out of the way, Dove. Oh, there you go. And you can see these houses here, these are old school. They've been here for a long time. Look at these beautiful places. Oh, that's the house I was looking at buying right here when really? I first came here. Yeah, this is a wow. big plantation. It's oh, wow, Wipeo's wow. right down this way. This is the way I come. Okay, all right. We're going the right way. There it is right there. Yeah, there's Wipeo, yeah. Look at it, beautiful raining out on the ocean. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, look at it coming down. Yeah, baby. Okay, beautiful parks right here. Not a person, person in the in park. It. Sunday afternoon, I mean, not the, a the person old American there. pastime. Beautiful know? park. Barbecue. Well, they got it locked up, that's why. Shoot. Again, why? Critical thinking. Why are you shutting the parks down? Okay, I'll keep my distance. I'll keep 20 feet in the parks. Why can't I go ahead and lay out in the sun and grab my vitamin D? at the beach okay why don't you want us to have any fun that's the beginning of the video <laughs> right. why don't no. you want us to have any bloody fun no fun allowed okay it is not making sense to my non-indoctrinated sense it's not making any sense it's not making any sense I can say that a hundred more times. And you know, anybody with critical thinking has to really ask some questions. Do you think it's really smart to break the economy to the whole world and bring it to a halt? Sweden didn't, didn't stop anything, okay? They didn't stop anything. Norway did, right? And look, devastation to their economy. And you look at Sweden, they didn't close down anything over there. They're the only place that's kept open. Why? Because maybe they were smart enough. Yeah, so what? You wore your mask and you kept your social distancing, but why would you close down the stores? And if you're sick, stay bloody well home. Stay in your house. If you have to, then, well, I wouldn't recommend going to the hospital, but if you go, they're going to test you. Remember, could it be possible? Your test that you're going to take, okay, that you have the COVID. 19 you already have the messenger RNA that's going to be tested on you when they do the cornholio virus right test <clears throat> Could it be possible that all these people becoming positive for this test because I'm just listening to a doctors not just people talking but doctors that are talking that what if you have had the flu shot and now you get tested for this cornholio virus and you become positive and you don't feel sick at all but now you're infected and all these people are infected, but no one's really dying. A couple of people, but remember 8,000 people die every day. 8,000 people die every day in the United States. 231,000 people or so die every day in the world. Okay. You've got 30,000 plus people every year, up to 55,000 or so. I was looking at the World Health Organization die of the flu. Now we got to go straight that way. Yep. That was, that was so the other we cutoff. Went, yeah, the right way. Yeah. Well, that's the way they it's don't okay. want. That's it's just, okay. that's the back way. That's yeah. the that's the way we go. <laughs> Long way. <laughs> well, it's the way without the tourism right. now is bigger, so they want you to go ahead and take that way because people don't want you driving in front of their bloody house all day. And there's still some people. There's still some cars here. These are all cars that yeah, uh, they're, they're at, wanna, at the end. And they're all walk-ins. I'll park right now. Well, no, go all the way to the end. Let's see what it looks like first. Let's check it out. Look at they get got things up here, so you can't park in here. So you can park right there. Head in parking, 24 hours allowed. See, they'd shut the gate here, but you know why? They can't? It's because they haven't got a bloody gate here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they probably got some signs. Here, anyways, let's go outside. I'll show you since we've been doing the video this long. Yeah, these guys go on, they go on, on uh, they go on uh, tours with the quads. Okay. This is YPO Valley, so we might as well give you a little scenery. Okay, look at this. Yeah, give them a view, Rob. Okay, so, hey, Hello. how are you? Hello. What's that? Oh, oh. <laughs> ah, slippery. Oh, slippery. <laughs> I told, I just told him before, my shoes are slippery. They're slick, and I'm just slipping on ground here that's already got asphalt. 
Yeah, you did say that. Where do you put them on today? Yeah, stuff. don't put them on. See them? Give them this view real quick. This is awesome. Jesus. Those, those are your five finger shoes. I told you before I left too. I said, what did I say? Shoot, I'm gonna slip and break my neck with these bloody shoes. Here, you can see the bottoms of them. <laughs> there we go. Got a little scratch, but. Okay, so here's the park right here. Park closed, look. Effective immediately by the director. Oh. By order of the Director of Parks and Recreation, this county park and the facilities threat are closed indefinitely to all purses and all accesses and uses. Closed indefinitely? How do you like that? Indefinitely. Wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Did I read that right? Yeah, you did. Now, what, now, now if you're a critical thinker, what is that telling you? They're indefinitely Wait. planning... I mean, shutting it down, meaning that, that there's no future and coming here. What does the bottom say there, too? Because look. their plan is never Look, to let you indefinitely, come look, and it says penalty. Persons violating this provision are subject to a fine not exceeding $1,000 a day or by imprisonment not to exceed 30 days or both and shall pay all cards, costs of the proceedings. Wait a minute, let me read this again. Park closed. And it's a brand new freaking sign. Look at it, thing. Green. Perfect paint. Effective immediately by the order, by order of the director of the Parks and Recreation District, this county park and the facilities thereat are closed indefinitely to all persons for all access and uses. So people are going down there. Again, critical thinking. How does that even work? How could this place, I can't even go over to the corner over there and check out the lookout? Can you go down or not? Well, there's people that live down there, so they can't close the road, but they're just saying people can't come here. They want to go for Well, let's go to the, let's go to the corner over here. I want to go to the corner so you guys can get a better view. <laughs> so I don't slip and fall with these stupid shoes. Stupid shoes I'm wearing, man. And I put these on today without my thong so I wouldn't fall and break my bloody neck. <laughs> these five finger ones, these are made for city, city walking and they've been sitting in my closet for a couple years. So the, 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 see the plastic, the rubber is all slippery, it's all dry. Jesus. <laughs> Rub some grass on them. I feel like I'm walking on like uh, those tap shoes with the metal bottoms. <laughs> okay. Here we go, it says, do not climb over wall or fence. Okay, that sounds cool. Okay, here we go. Let me show you this view. So this is Whitefield Valley, and I've been down here probably about 25 times. And now they say they're closing the park indefinitely. Again, how could, that doesn't make any sense. Maybe closing the park for six months. Hey, there's a kitty over there. Hey, buddy, sleeping. Wow, and I used to love going down there. Look, you ever been down there? Yeah, one time. We went on the beach? Yeah. All the way? Once. Did you well, cross, the, cross the river? No, I didn't get that. Oh, one. nice. But I do want to go to the bottom and come back up. Cross the river? I'll just go to the bottom and then come back up. It's a good little. Today? Yeah. Oh, oh my, that thing's, a, that thing's a long ways, man. It's a good workout. I can't go with my leg right now. It's screwed up in these shoes. Yeah. Okay, well, we can go somewhat down, you can see. But check it out. That's where I went up across there, Mark. Look, all the way across, see the zigzag up the mountain? You go up that mountain, zigzag all the way up like this, all the way mm -hmm. to the top. So that's what I, I've done that that's probably about. That's a good about, workout. I'd like to do that. See the waterfall coming out of the mountain way over there? That's, that's awesome. Yeah. I definitely want to go down there sometime. Allie went ahead and went three canyons over, and she spent the night over there. That's a place where you can really? camp. Awesome. Yeah. She went over. Not th anymore. Yeah. But at least there's houses down there. I mean, we could walk down. I mean, we should come here and, and do a hike one day. I mean, I'd get out. I'd love to get down there. Okay, so anyways, this is ridiculous to be able to close. And they closed our parks at our house, too. Hakalau Park. And they closed the Koli Koli Park. And these were beautiful parks, just like these right here. Look, nice. Look, you can barbecue. Check it out right there. Okay, and, and there's a couple people, look, that died. There's somebody's cross over there. There's some kitties here. There's another one. 
Can I get them all over there? Yeah? Here. Somebody feeds them. Got some bulls over there. Yeah. Somebody died here. They went over the, the edge here. And if you go over the edge, you're going down. Yeah. I mean, it's straight down. It's easy to fall to the edge. People weren't paying attention. It's probably at nighttime and done. You're gone. That's the scary thing about, about the island here is that you don't realize it drops off. And when it drops off... Whew. Yeah, there's no fences. This is the only fence I've seen pretty much to keep you from falling over the edge. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so I guess we'll wrap this video up here, but again, they're taking away all our fun. Can't no even, fun allowed. No fun allowed. I can't even go out and see, just come out here. Look, what, what's, what's wrong with coming out here? There's never a ranger out here or anything. There's no one here. Look at the trash cans. They don't have any stuff in them. They're empty. Of course, no one's been here. What does it take to empty the trash, what, once a week or so? Okay. And it says park hours. Look, 11 a.m. right here, just so you can see. This is the way it used to be. 11 a.m. or 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. No loitering. One park is closed. You can't spend the night. No drinking, alcoholic beverages, da da da. No animals allowed in the park. I brought Hody down here before. No camping. Tobacco free grounds. So don't smoke a cigarette. Otherwise, we give you a $100 fine. Go far way down. Okay, so, yeah, I'll see how my shoes are. The thing's straight up and down. Okay, <clears throat> that's it. And, well, maybe I'll talk about it here. Just go up to the top of the mountain here, just for a sec. Let's see, I can't, I can't even go up the bloody hill. Be careful. Yeah, just slippery. So this road, the only people that can go down there, are, and you need a four-wheel drive. I've been down this road here a couple times and walked it a couple times, but it's like 25% grade, sometimes even 30%, and you can only go, you know, like the road is so narrow, you can only get across with one car in many places. So the guy that's going down has to yield. So, see this guy's coming up here, and this works your car, man really works works your truck look you got to go around the corner yeah, super slow steepest, steepest grade that I've ever had to drive at one time we did it in your uh, in your Nissan four-wheel drive I remember driving it. yeah steepest grade I've ever driven it's kind of scary actually this isn't it down below it's way steep. so these people live down there Either that or they camp down there and they played around for the day. And, you know, because these guys are locals, no one's going to bother them. Yeah. So, you. you know, they go down to the bottom. You can see they got stuff in the back of their pickup. Well, I'd like us they to were... come here one day and I'll drive down because i got a four by and we'll just go to the bottom and hang out for the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, they have their stuff in the back there. They were at the beach. Oh, yeah. Down there. All these guys are. This guy was at the beach too. I wouldn't mind hanging out here for the day. Well, you just go I'm down there. Hike. Yeah. You just go down. Basically, it's closed to the tourists. We're so, not tourists, so. But we can get away with it. We got a four by. We go to the bottom, make a base camp for the beach, we'll go for a hike, and then lay out on the beach the rest of the day. I like to do that. There we go. These are. These are, you know, I, I checked. Grab one. There's a couple there. Okay, these are <clears throat> sarsaparilla. Sass. Sassafras. This is how they make root beer. I'm going to take off the dirt, though. And when you chew on the root. Whew, so good. Well, what is it? This is natural MDNA. This is what they call ecstasy, right? They have a chemical called ecstasy, and they sell it to people, right? But this is the stuff they used to make root beer out of back in the 30s, right? You wanted root beer, it opened up your heart, right? Like ecstasy you would does. Actually, yeah, back in the old days when they first invented or made sarsaparilla, they called it instead of root beer, you actually did get high off of it. Yeah. It made you feel good. Not too high, but it made you feel so good 
and it sold like hotcakes. <laughs> Shoot, it's raining. Mm -hmm. And then, <clears throat> and then, what do you think uh, was in the Coca-Cola, right? Same thing. Same thing. You you take those and... ingredients out. You yeah. know why? There's no fun allowed. No fun allowed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's the end of this video. It's raining. Aloha. No fun allowed, guys. So watch it. <laughs> Woohoo!